Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Lada, and today I want to talk to you about big numbers. So, which numbers are exactly considered to be big? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> Wikipedia uh, gives us the following definition. Um, large numbers are numbers that are significantly larger than those ordinary used in everyday life. <laughs> That's true, but from our JavaScript point of view, we consider numbers to be big uh, if, they, if they're made of many digits um, before or after decimal points. So they are either very big or very small. Um, big numbers are not all that exotic. They are widely used in mathematics, computer science, chemistry, geology, a lot of fields. So here you have uh, some interesting examples of big numbers, especially Shannon number is fascinating. Um, well, how numbers are represented in JavaScript? Uh, we know that in JavaScript, numbers are internally stored in binary floating point, but they're usually displayed uh, in the decimal system, as we know. So there are two uh, decimal notations used by JavaScript. Fixed, fixed uh, or well, regular notation, like on line one, and exponential notation, like on line two. So for output, uh, it's always uh, exactly one digit before decimal point. And for output, um, you can have, uh, or for input, you can uh, use more than one digit. So exponential notation, nota notation is uh, interpreted as follows. Um, given number in exponential uh, notation represented as significant e exponent um, uh, the value of that number would be uh, significant times 10 to the exponent, uh, exponent's power, exponent's power. So minus 1.37 e plus 2 would represent number minus 137. Okay. So uh, we can summarize uh, rules uh, for converting number into scientific notations by JavaScript as follows. Uh, JavaScript uses exponential notation if there are more than 21 digits um, before the decimal point, like in the first example. The number in the second example is only 20 digits uh, long, but it's still not exactly the way we would expect it to be, but that's the whole different issue with JavaScript and, and numbers. And JavaScript also displays a number in scientific notation uh, if the number starts with zero, followed by more than five zeros. And that is illustrated by examples three and four. So scientific notation itself is a, it's good. It's a, it's a very helpful tool for us humans uh, to understand how big or small the number actually is. Uh, it, it helps us compare numbers more easily, big numbers more easily. So in science, we often work with uh, very large or very small numbers. For example, the age of the Earth would be that number <laughs> you can see on the screen. <laughs> yeah. uh, or in chemistry, uh, the, key, uh, the key thing they use is uh, one atomic mass unit which is a very, very small uh, number. So scientific notation makes it much easier for us to per perceive the like, value of a number. So, but uh, there's a problem with JavaScript, uh, of course. We all know how JavaScript behaves. Uh, uh, it will change the number into scientific notation without saying a single word. Uh, so in order to control the way your number looks, um, you could define it as a string. Um, but then you cannot add, add these strings a as numbers, right? So it will be string concatenations. Uh, so, um, like, nope, not here. <laughs> like in our example, if you try to parse the string rep uh, representing this, this number, 
we will get back the value you can see on line two. And if we convert it back to um, fixed notation, it won't be the same. But the question is, um, do we really like, care that much about 22nd digit in a row? Well, it really depends. This thing, this is a Patriot. Patriot is a, is a world famous uh, American air defense system to counter missiles and uh, advanced aircraft. So um, on February 25th, 1991, 28 Americans, Amer American soldiers were, were killed um, as a result of an uh, attack of uh, Iraqi Scud, it's a missile, in Saudi Arabia. So the Patriot defense system on that day had failed to track and intercept um, that Scud. Um, Patriot calculates the uh, area in, air, in airspace uh, where it should look for, for such a target. Um, and it tracks, tracks this space like every one tenth of a second, uh, which uh, cannot be represented precisely, so there's always a representation error. And it, this <laughs> error sh should be this um, 9.5 times 10 minus to the power of minus 10, mi minus 8. Um, but on that day, because um, uh, battery on, on SCAD was, uh, was, uh, was left on for a consecutive 100 hours, that, that error became uh, 0 0.34 seconds. As a result of that, um, SCAD was never targeted because it was, just because it was calculated being out of range. So I would say Yes, yeah, sometimes we do want our calculations to be as exact as it, as precise as it, uh, like humanly and uh, technically possible. So, um, what would be the solution here? When dealing with big numbers, um, you might want to choose another less creative but more predictable <coughs> programming language, like C++ or Python. But if it's just you, big numbers, and JavaScript, um, you need to you manipulate your number as a string. So um, we can represent an uh, integer of arbitrary size uh, as a string in JavaScript. But then we cannot perform arithmetic operations uh, on that, so those functions have to be uh, implemented. One possible solution here is, yes, we can do it ourselves. <laughs> and so we can you know, write a function, and this function will sum up two strings. That's not the prettiest one, of course, but it works. But then there is a multiplication and division, and number is checking my function. And um, factorial, so a lot to implement. Fortunately, we don't have to. There are plenty of libraries out there to choose from, and those libraries, they do exactly that. They manipulate uh, numbers as strings, sometimes arrays, so no magic there. Um, um, they keep your calculations precise. So for example, raising two to the 1024th power will return you a nice 308 digits long number, not the infinity which one more issue with JavaScript and numbers. These libraries are easy to install them um, and use them mostly like npm packages so we can just npm install them and require them as usual um, and uh, every operation would be the method on that object. So um, the syntax, the exact syntax of operation from library to library can be slightly different but for string, for example, it's a string dot add, and you give it two strings you want to add. Uh, and other operations that are available, there's a whole list of them, like every sort of comparison, addition, subtraction, so on and so on. So on. All right, so in conclusion, I would like to remind you guys that big numbers, um, big responsibilities, so <laughs> please handle with care.
Thank you.